a lot, these traditional industries have done pretty good incorporating the digital economy, but some are fighting it. And the ones who are fighting it are fighting the peer-to-peer -peer economy. You are co-founder of the Congressional Sharing Economy Caucus. And I want to ask you what you make of the opposition to companies like Uber and Airbnb. Um, well, look, some companies are in conventional industries that are used to having monopolies. The cab companies had monopolies. So we understand why cabbies objected to it until in large numbers they began deserting their cab companies to become Uber drivers. Uh, you know, last night I was, uh, or this morning, I was on a, 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 in, a, in an Uber, but he, he had four different software packages, including obviously Uber and Lyft. He worked off of, uh, uh, why? Well, because he, he enjoyed the benefits of an economy that gave him something that no cab company could give him, no grocery delivery company could give him, no company could give him until there were multiple software uh, companies that gave empowered him to make a living and to make choices, uh, including, and he told me about this, he said, he said, I keep Lyft because they take uh, prepaid uh, credit cards, which Uber doesn't. And I keep Uber because they let me navigate home, picking up jobs as I'm going home, because in order to compete, they didn't just give him an occupation. They let him go all the way to Galveston from Houston and then say, but I want to be home in four hours. And every pickup he had after that got him closer to home rather than random. This kind of innovation doesn't happen in stodge, stodgy old uh, monopolies. So is there a penetration? Absolutely. Does it take time? Yeah, absolutely. Will we be better for it? Absolutely. When it comes to Airbnb, the fact is that's, that's direct competition with hotels, and there is a viable, uh, legitimate question for whether businesses that accommodate people should have some form of the same rules of the road. But it has nothing to do with the software. If you're Marriott, you'd better darn well have your software every bit as good as Airbnb, or you're not going to get guessed. So they're doing a favor on the software side. There is a legitimacy to if your neighbor has a, a bachelor party and, uh, and it disrupts your life, you're asking, is Airbnb operating a business to my detriment against zoning? But that part of it is societal. It's not really the, the facilitator. Airbnb is doing something that's great for an industry. It's forcing everybody to improve their game for where and how I choose to stay.